how does somebody bleed so much lose so much blood and not die hi guys welcome back to my channel guys if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so in today's video i am going to rant i need to rant i'm going to be ranting about annoying things about periods and just the experience okay of having periods so let's start with the most obvious one okay the most obvious thing that is annoying about periods is you know periods themselves honestly periods are the ghetto guys like when are we gonna have this conversation i would say they're so unnecessary but you know biologically they're kind of definitely necessary but they feel they feel unnecessary periods are just it's just it's so annoying you're just uncomfortable all the time you're in pain you feel weird you have to keep changing your pad or your tampon you're always kind of you know insecure about it you have crazy mood swings people just annoy you like the whole thing is honestly so annoying and the confusing thing is when you're on your period you're gonna get a glow like i don't feel how i look i know i'm glowing on my face but i'm not glowing on the inside Okay. The next thing that's annoying about periods is honestly, damned if you do, damned if you don't. What do I mean by that? If you don't have your period, well, that's not good because you could be pregnant. And of course, being pregnant is only a bad thing if you don't want to be pregnant. But for those of us who don't want to be pregnant, you could be pregnant. I just don't understand, you know, like as young women we're told not to get pregnant but then when we don't get pregnant we get a period and then we're in tons of pain like i just don't understand why i should be punished for not being pregnant is that not the goal not being pregnant are we not all saying f them kids bruh i thought that's what we were doing here but then when we don't do it then we're in pain where like where am i supposed to win poo where when how missing your period sounds like a dream but the stress you undergo as a result of missing it is so annoying and here's the thing stressing causes your period not to come so your period doesn't come for some reason and then it makes you stress because it didn't come then it doesn't come again because you were stressing it's honestly the trippiest thing ever but then also you're damned if you do get your period because periods hurt actually just refer back to point one about why periods suck guys period blood is disgusting it is the most disgusting thing i think i have ever seen come out of my body it is gross it looks disgusting it smells disgusting and oh my goodness the volume i i personally am a heavy bleeder so it's a lot like how does somebody bleed so much lose so much blood and not die how 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 how, how is that possible maybe we don't actually physically die because we die a little bit inside <laughs> as if stinky disgusting period blood is not enough there's also blood clots you see i wasn't prepared for blood clots because nobody told me that there would be blood clots i just one day was minding my own business going about my day trying to stay alive when suddenly i gave birth to something when i went to the bathroom and i looked there it was boom a blood clot now sometimes with blood clots they hurt when they come out so you will literally feel like almost like something is contracting like to push it out you feel like you're being torn apart inside and that's how you know the blood clot is going to come out and this may be and or but or you suddenly feel a lot of blood coming out of you as in you literally feel blood just pouring out of you every movement you make blood and i dare you i dare you to cough or sneeze because you will have niagara falls in your pants and i oh 
but lots of blood starts coming out and normally when that happens within the next 10 minutes or so you know that a blood clot is going to come out sometimes you have to pee for it to flow out but other times it just comes out by itself and when i see a blood clot guys please understand that these things are mother fudging gigantic they are huge they can be small but they can be huge you see periods you either get your period and give birth to a blood clot or you don't and give birth to a baby either way babes you just give birth no the pain you feel is not just when you give birth to a blood clot you see period pains can actually come a few days before you get your period so you can get the pre period pains and then you get the period pains and then some people get the post period pains which may just be ovulation pain which by the way no one told me about that either it was just like a whole surprise and i fully 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 thought i was dying do you want to know what period pains feel like it feels like being hit by a truck it's literally more painful or as painful as having a heart attack a heart attack a heart attack i sometimes think that men downplay period pains because of how much we speak about it or how much you hear about it or you see it so men are like oh man like honestly if you get it every month it can't be that bad or women are just extra but no it literally hurts every month and you know what the thing is period pain is like a fingerprint do you know what that means that means it's unique the pain is unique every single time i remember one time i talked myself up i was like you know what huh. i am dexter i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna feel my period pains i get this thing every month this time i'm not gonna feel pain you know what my period can shove it because i'm a real one and real niggas don't cry and i'm used to this pain and bam when my period came, was I not defeated, babes? Like, listen, we squared up and it won. It beat me and I never tried to fight it again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The next thing that is super annoying is just the overall discomfort that you feel when you're on your period. I don't know if it's just me, but you kind of feel anxious. You're very aware of yourself. You have a fear of smelling bad. And if you're a heavy bleeder, then you know it's this anxiety and fear that you have that you might bleed on your pants. And you'll know when a woman is on her period, not all women, but most women will just wear black, navy blue, like dark colors so that if anything, God forbid, if anything does happen, you're in dark pants and people won't be able to see and then every time you stand up from a place you're sitting you always look at the chair to see that there's nothing on there that you haven't spilled and this is where it would be great if you watch my first video because then you'd know what happened to me huh just my luck right basically you just have to be hyper alert and very vigilant the whole time which can be very exhausting because again your period really does knock you and make you tired so to have to live with that kind of anxiety and stuff is very uncomfortable the last thing that I want to talk about is the judgment that we as women experience as a result of my period. You know, when I was like a teen and stuff and I wanted to talk about periods, I would always receive blockages from various people. People would always make me feel ashamed. They would always make me feel like I should be ashamed to talk about my period or embarrassed and now when i grow up i'm like screw you guys like why would you do that it is such a natural thing it's not taboo it's not weird it's a period and every single woman has it and another thing is in the case where you do miss your pants or a seat that you're sitting on some people really shame you for that you'll have some men or some women say you're dirty you don't take care of yourself you're disgusting missing your pants during your period is not because you're messy or i mean some of you may be sure like if you if if you really just don't care yes but i know for most women it's literally our worst nightmare it's not something we want to happen and trust we've taken the precautions we need to take but sometimes it happens and when it does happen you're upset you're distressed like you don't want you're you're embarrassed and the last thing you need is someone literally calling you dirty or shaming you over something that you never wanted to happen in the first place another thing as well is men or boys who will invalidate your feelings because 
because you're on your period and say Or simply because you're on your period Like that is so annoying Do not invalidate me Don't make me feel crazy And don't think that I'm some weird irrational being because I'm on my period And yes that may be the case Some people may act irrationally But it doesn't mean that every single thing we're saying or doing is irrational And with the judgment thing What I don't get is the judgment comes from women and men alike don't just think this is men who are pushing the shame the judgment and everything but women are really pushing it too and i for the life of me i just don't understand as a woman who goes through it too who knows how painful it is how uncomfortable it is and guys understand that some people really do have a horrible time it's really not easy so i don't understand how women especially want to judge other women and not be compassionate to other women as if you don't know what it feels like like you are quick to judge other women but when it's your own kid where's the judgment when it's your daughter where's the judgment and some women will even judge their own daughters but i personally think it's wrong and this is something that we saw in high school at my high school when i think about it now it was so dizzy and i'm actually disgusted by this but there was this one woman teacher who would say to us that period pains are not an excuse for being absent from school it's not an excuse for you to leave school and you need to suck it up because we all get it and back then when you're younger you're like damn okay sure you believe her you believe her you think she's right you think maybe you're just bugging but you're not like when you're on your period sometimes you're literally unable to sit you can't sit in one position. It's ongoing pain. Painkillers sometimes may not work or they take a long time to kick in or your period just hits you by surprise. So them invalidating that experience and our feelings to me is so wild because again, as a woman, you know what it feels like and I don't understand why women do that. There are two things that I believe. Number one, I believe that period products should be free, whether it's tampons or pads, I believe they should be free. I don't understand why condoms can be free but pads cannot be free because sex is a choice but periods is not a choice another thing i genuinely believe and i know this would only be in a perfect world and i know there are some countries who do actually have this but i really believe that women should be able to take paid time off on their period again i know that this is like in a perfect world because there's a lot of stuff to consider some people may lie or whatever but Honestly guys, there have been times where I have not been able to go to class, I've had to go home early from work because the pain is honestly so unbearable and I wasn't making it up. If you know me, you know that I hate missing school or work because I believe that that which I don't do today waits for me tomorrow. I'm only putting myself in a bad position because now I'm gonna be behind or now I'm gonna have more pressure on myself. I don't believe in skipping work or school if you don't have to, but I really do believe that period leave is something that is so helpful and would be very helpful. To end of this video, I just want to affirm that I am very proud of being a woman i'm very happy to be a woman and as much as my period kicks my ass and it's so annoying and oh my gosh it's a blessing to be a woman it's a wonderful it's a unique experience your period is a part of the things that make you a woman a part of your female energy and your you know just your essence and it really is a beautiful thing even though in the moment it doesn't feel like it there's a reason why god gave us period and god knows more than me so i'm just gonna trust his word and i also just want to say to all the women out there you guys are rock stars you guys are amazing we, the world does not give us nearly as much love as we deserve but as women we are rock stars we are amazing we are blessed like listen guys women we are multipliers you know you give us one thing we'll multiply turn it into something else that's a superpower right there being a woman truly is a blessing so ladies stay strong stay beautiful and stay in god and most importantly please remember to show love to yourself but to also show love to other women we as women need to stand up for ourselves and need to stand up for other women we can't expect men to have compassion on us or for them to understand if it doesn't start with us because if you invalidate another woman's experience then of course a man will invalidate her experience as well that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe Subscribe and I will be back with more videos any video suggestions comment down below and I'll try and make it happen for you peace and love guys